It has been almost two years in the making, but I have finally done it. I have conquered rust. If you're interested, I'm going to show you our new can bed. It will never rust, cheaper than steel, fully customizable, stronger than aluminum. If you're interested in seeing all about our new can bed, join me in this video. Well, welcome. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking us out. I'm going to try to go really fast to show you something that has taken quite a bit of engineering, but I'm really proud of. Here at RV Haulers, what we do is we build custom tow rigs. We call them RV Haulers, designed to pull the largest of fifth wheels. There's a couple of them in the background there. Those happen to be between 26, 29,000 pounds. And what these RV haulers do is they allow us to travel safely, reliably, and we can take all of our stuff, whether it is maybe a Jeep you want to take along with you, or traditionally, if you've watched my YouTube channel, you've seen a lot of smart cars being loaded up in behind those RV haulers. And as well, we've even got small SUVs and small cars. If you want more than two seats, maybe a Fiat or that Jeep. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you and I'm going to be zeroing in on what you see in behind here. This is our can bed. And I'm going to do this video a little bit differently. We're going to be seeing a whole bunch of different things about this can bed. You've never seen this before. I've been working on it, hiding it, keeping it a secret, but there's no more secrets. This can bed has a whole bunch of new features. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a whole bunch of video breakouts from this video. I'm going to do a video today that's very high level that it just introduces this concept. And you're going to see a bunch of new stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make individual videos. The links will be down below in this description for each of those concepts. So we're going to be digging into the engineering and the weight and the finishing and the cool steps that you've never seen before. Ramps, we're going to be talking about a lot of the systems that go into it, but I'm going to break out all those videos. But let's start right now by getting right into what I'm really excited and proud of, which is our new rust-free can bed. R-U-S-T. It is a four-letter word. Rust is that four-letter word. It's been a challenge for me over the years. Traditionally, we built these beds or these decks out of steel. And even though we would powder, we would blast them, prime them, powder coat components, and try to make them last, they don't last forever. They're exposed to road debris and dings and things that happen in the campground or the resort, and they would rust. Another challenge that we've had is in the past few years, through COVID and beyond, the price of steel has gone like this. It is really expensive. So I, I'm always, people have described me like a serial entrepreneur. I'm always looking to try to improve these beds and all the systems in my RV haulers. And what this is, is a, have you heard of like carbon fiber before? Okay, keep that in mind. This product, what you see here, the top, the sides, the skirting, even underneath the structure, there is zero steel, zero aluminum. It's all a fiber-based product. It's called a pultruded fiber reinforced product. And instead of extruding, like you know when you, the steel mills will extrude a C-channel or an angle iron, you know, they'll push it through a die at, when it's all molten. Well, what this product is, is the fiber and the product that's in there is pulled through those dies. And it gives it amazing strength. All right, let me show you a little sneak peek of what is under this bed and in this bed. Let's take a look at what my beds can be manufactured with. So I want to make it clear, I'll still build a steel bed for you. If that's the look and the feel that you you're want in your RV hauler, I'll still build you a steel bed. They're beautiful, they're tough, they look really nice. My can bed, my fiber-based bed, 
is meant as an alternative. It's just an option. It's less expensive, it's lighter, it's... But let's talk about the material first. So, to give you... If you want the detail on this, go look down in the description, you'll find a video called Material. This is 8-inch channel. And can you imagine doing this with steel, right? Just a finger or two. Can I balance it with one finger? Let's try. There we go. One finger. Can you imagine lifting that with, if it were steel? This is incredibly strong. The fiber product is built all in, through here, and it's, it comes out at those height pressures. Here is a piece of four-inch angle. Piece of two-inch right here. And the bed surface, the top surface, is an engineered honeycomb structure. So this top surface, no steel in here. It's got a little bit of a gritty surface. We'll take a look at the bed. We'll get up and close. But this gritty surface is never going to wear. UV protected. It's got the color is impregnated all the way through it. So even if you scratch it, it still looks black in this case. And if you look at some of the finished edges, it can be painted, it can be bedlined. It's a pretty cool product. Now, if you want to learn about the engineering, check out the video titled Engineering. This bed that's right behind you right now is engineered, engineered, stamped, engineered for up to a 6,000 pound vehicle. Yes, if you look at my drawings, We'll, we'll break this out later on, but if you want to take a look at these drawings in a little bit more detail, look at some of the structure that's underneath and look at what it's designed for. These are engineered stamp drawings from New York. I think, as of making this video at this time in early 2023, I'm the only manufacturer that has an engineered bed, and I don't know if you, what that means. Engineered means they've put it through hundreds of thousands of compression tests. They've put it in the computer, they've modeled, they've done destructive testing with 150 mile an hour winds tossing vehicles around back there, stopping from 100 miles an hour, which I don't think you'd be doing, 100 miles an hour to zero in like 100 yards repeatedly with that 6,000 pound vehicle up there. They've engineered the bed system so that I can put a point load of 1,500 pounds pushing down and it deflects no more than one millimeter. So there's some of the product. Here's the skirted sides. Think of it, it's kind of like mm, plywood, except really, really strong and paintable. All of the hardware, I'll do another video on that. All of the hardware is zero rust. So this is hot dip galvanized grade 10 bolt systems. Watch that video. As well, some of the exposed bolt systems, all of it is either hot dip galvanized or stainless steel. Let's talk about some more. Of the, I'm going to turn the camera around, let's get back on the bed, and I'll show you some of the other features. So functionality wise, we can load vehicles width wise, we can load them lengthwise, and I want to talk about the modularity that I have, the modular capabilities of this bed. I've engineered it so that it, this bed weighs about a thousand pounds. A traditional steel bed would weigh more than three or four times that when you add up all the steel and the cross members. Zooming in just a little bit more, you'll see that there are some exposed seams. This is all bolted together, uh, but it comes in panels. So by default, they're four feet wide, 101 inches long. So we're well within our width parameters that we're allowed when we're on the road. But we can also very quickly create what I call smaller, well, smaller components. So I can create whatever length we need. We bolt it together, we build the individual components. What's nice about this 
is I only have to build as much as I want. Also, I can add to it. I've had customers come to the yard and they've said, Greg, I want to get going quick with my RV hauler. Please build me a smart car bed, get me on the road. I can build one of these for a customer, the basic system, in about a week. So I've had customers bring an RV hauler to the yard here, go for a week's holiday, go explore Banff in the mountains and Calgary and enjoy Canada for about a week, come back and take your RV hauler away. So we're able to build these very quickly. So I showed you a little bit earlier, here's that gritty surface. So even when, like this doesn't need to be coated, this is the way that it comes. It cleans really nicely as well. The sides are, uh, this one has been bed lined, so it's really tough. And the top layer of the bed liner, while it was still open, while the bed liner product was open or still porous, it hadn't fully cured, we apply a high gloss black commercial paint. So it washes really, really well. You can power wash this. More on that modular system. Let me show you another idea. This RV hauler, the customers are full timing and they have chosen to go with as much storage as they could squeeze in here. You'll see we've got a really big drum box up here as well, a monster drum. I'm gonna get into that later. But for right now, let's talk about what happens underneath this bed. I have the flexibility to put now or later storage underneath here. They just bolt on. As well, you'll see we have some beautiful paint matched skirting. This fiber skirting is all bolted on. So imagine somebody in the campground isn't paying attention. And, you know, they come along and they maybe scratch this or back into you or something dreadful happens. You can unbolt this little section of skirting, take it to any automotive paint shop, and get it painted. If you want, I'll build this bed with some of these optional systems. You can put in, this, put in the storage, put in the optional skirting. You can paint it yourself. You don't even have to paint it. Of course, the bed material, as you saw in my little show and tell table, it comes black. Maybe black is to your liking. We can build this bed in a phased approach. We can make it as big as you want. We can add to it later. We can add the storage. We can add the skirting. Let's take a look around the back and see what that, see what that visual treatment is like. Here's the tail section. So this is again, fiber-based product. We've got LED lights. We've got all the DOT required lighting built into the bed as well. You'll see this cut, these customers have gone with the optional bumper pull. We've got our air ride hitch cut into this opening, this finished opening here in the bed. We've got a lighting connection. So there, this is a bulkhead connector that's gonna be connecting to the cameras on their trailer. We've got our seven way trailer plug and license plate lights. So here too, we can put in any opening that we need later on. If you need to add something, you can drill a hole in here without damaging the engineering, the structural integrity, and it's not gonna rust. You can carefully cut out that hole, put in a new plug, add some more lighting to your liking. Or if you need to get it replaced, I'll send you a new piece. How's that for da you know, damage repair? I'll show you another application for our, what we call cam steps. These steps are made, again, out of our fiber-based product, and I'll show you what these are meant to do. These Volvos, this, this Volvo in particular, they come with, from the factory, two steps. One right here that's about 18 inches above the ground, and one way up here. So if you're perhaps someone who's got bad hips or maybe a bad knee, or I've had customers that are maybe just not six foot six tall, right? They're a little bit shorter and they want to have an easier way of getting up to the floor height. You know, here we are about 50 inches above ground. We have these bolt on lightweight paintable can steps. 
So what it does is it introduces the first step about eight inches off the ground, seven, eight inches. And for every eight, seven or eight inches, we're able to, we double the number of steps. And they're incredibly strong. So I will, <laughs> it's amazing how strong these things are. Um, we've had about 400 pounds jumping and bouncing on there. And it really, um, it's super strong. We've got the grippy surface and we take nice small steps to get up into the sleeper. What I'm also able to do is these are, um, they can be disassembled. So I can pack them flat, all stainless steel hardware, and they bolt right into the factory holes in your Volvo. If you like a step or you like to learn a little bit more, I'll have a link to can steps down below in the description. Let's go take a look at something else. While we're going by, I'll mention we've got the hanger system built in here so that we've got these mud flaps that are within about four or five inches of the ground. So the road debris is not going to fly up and head towards your beloved fifth wheel. We keep that under control. In this design, we've been able to keep the factory step system back here and we've got beautiful access to the fuel tanks. So lots of space up in here for getting that fuel nozzle in. And by keeping the steps and the handle, I've got a nice way of getting up on the bed. I alluded to the flexibility we have a little bit earlier about what we can put up on this RV hauler. We can build longer beds for the Jeep. The smart car is over this shoulder. Um, we, hand, we have all the parts that you need to load a vehicle and carry a vehicle safely. Here, I'll just bring up on the screen, there's a, a black can bed on this Kenworth. And we've designed this bed in the particular that you're looking at right now for that electric motorcycle and a small four-wheeler. Of course, to tie down any vehicle or toy, whether it be an ATV, a golf cart, motorcycle, or vehicle, we've got our chalk system, which is uh, very flexible in that it can be mounted On the bed, we install this type of tracking. This is just a short piece, but we can install this in any orientation on the bed. It is, every single one of these little holes is designed to hold on to up to 1,650 pounds. So when you consider that we, this design of our chalk has two bolts over, that gives you over 3,000 pounds of cargo carrying capacity or tie down capacity with just one chalk. So everything here is over engineered. If you're building your own RV hauler, great, enjoy your project. It's sometimes hard to find all the little pieces and parts that you might require. So please go explore my RV hauler store. So we've got my favorite plugs available on there with the diagnostic lights to let you know if the, you know, are the lights working? Is it my trailer or is it my truck that's giving me the grief? So we've got those in stock. We've got the chocks in stock that I just showed you. And of course we've got our flux capacitor. Okay, it's not really a flux capacitor, but we love to call it that. This is our RV haulers can board. Every one of my RV haulers that I build for my customers needs this electronic conversion component which converts the wiring that comes from the truck to the wiring that goes to the trailer. Guess what? There's a video on this. If you have questions about this, but also I'll have a breakout video all about the CAN board. And of course, we've got installation videos on this. We've got troubleshooting videos to show you how this thing is kind of the central brain for the brake controller, wiring lights, and expansion that you might want to do to your RV hauler. Check out that video down below. And if you do want one of the optional flux capacitors, those are available too. 
Now, Julie and Tim are going to come and get their training on this RV hauler in the next short while. Also wanted, you can see we've got our camera monitoring system in there. Uh, they also found that in their full timing travels that, you know, leaves and dust and things would get down into their hitch. So what's great about my can bed is it's so flexible. We can build all kinds of things out of this material. Let me show you what we can do. So to keep the hitch covered, looking tidy, keep the leaves and debris and leaves, you know, twigs and all that kind of stuff out of the hitch, when you're at the resort, let me get this light out of, or a camera out of the way. That's of course on a 90 pound welder's magnet. So we can take that and point, turn it around if you want it to look at your load maybe. Certainly it points towards the hitch. But what we created for Tim and Julie was this lid. There you go. We got a lid that goes in place. If you are going to be bobtailed, maybe you're driving your RV hauler around, you're going to the campground, oh, sorry, the store, heading to Walmart, you want to have it covered, you've got a little locking pin that goes in here. It's tapped in <clears throat> so that can't lift. I mean, there's a little bit of weight here. There's certainly, it's probably 20 some pounds, but really strong. You can stand on this. Isn't it neat what we can build out of the FRP? It's nice and light. If you're building a bed to put a smart car, a small SUV, or a Jeep up on the bed, of course, you're gonna need some ramps. And the designs that were traditionally used hinged and folded. And when combined, <clears throat> they were little, about six feet long. And when they folded open, they were about 12 feet. And they were a little arched in the middle. They kind of stopped. They weren't perfectly straight. They had a bit of an arch so that the breakover angle, when you drove up on the bed, you know, the bottom of your vehicle wouldn't rub on the edge of the bed. Well, now that we're looking at putting up to 6,000 pound vehicles on our beds, we had to address the ramps. So I'll have a breakout video when it comes to ramps down below. But what I've done is I've made them modular or they can be separated. So those of us that maybe have a bad elbow or arm or wrist or something like that, um, I made them so that they come apart. There's certainly higher strength capacity, so we can have up to 3,000 pounds per axle that go up and down these ramps. You can see one of them is assembled in the back here. It still has the arch. Overall, they're 12 feet long, but they come apart in two pieces. So they're made out of aluminum, and we've got a nice little wedge on the front to rest on the edge of the bed. And if you look at the back, there is a couple of holes. There are a couple of holes, I should say. And what we have is, I call it the umbilical. So there's this powder coated um, umbilical component that goes into each of those slots to not only create that arch that you see here, but uh, join them together. So if you need a set of ramps, I've got them. And I got you covered. Not just the lighter duty ones for smart cars, but we can load our Jeeps, we can load our heavier vehicles up to 6,000 pounds. While we're admiring Ruby, I'd also like to point out that we do custom decals and graphics. The RV hauler candidate doesn't always have a perfect paint match. And painting RV haulers, we do. We will do complete custom paint RV haulers, but it's also a, quite an expensive undertaking. Alternatively, what we can do is we'll take, I do this work myself, we'll maybe have a Zoom call together, we'll take a picture of your coach, we'll put it up on my computer screen behind the RV hauler, and we'll take some graphics, right? Maybe one of those, we called it the mustache, that's what Julie called it, and we've got our little arcs here, these colors are, are color matched really nicely to their DRV mobile suites and it kind of ties the rig together. We can do that for you too. Uh, I'm kind of giving you a little teaser here as well. If you look, we've got a set of our custom sheepskin seat covers in Ruby right now. We've got a whole bunch of different colors that we can go to 
to match the interiors. Also, if you look up in that sleeper, okay, separate video on, on cheap skins. I'll show you some examples of those in a separate video down below. Also in here, we've got all kinds of custom electronics. So we've got tire pressure monitoring. We've got that dash, uh, we've got dash cameras. We've got power distribution systems. We've got, of course, the camera monitoring system. I'll have all of the electronics available to you in a video down below. Wow, here on Ruby, we've got a beautiful animal guard. These are a really good uh, insurance package, if you will. Now, visually, they're not uh, to everyone's liking. Some people like the more chrome look, which is what Julie and Tim have gone with here. That's a herd bumper. Some people like the more traditional, stronger, stockier look. There's one on shadow. That one has actually been coated in bed liner to give it more of the blacked out look and uh, kind of softens the in your face look. Uh, we've got shorter ones, we've got lighter duty ones, or there's no rule that says you have to put one on at all. We also do all the chrome upgrades. So if you look in here, we've got beautiful new chrome accents around the front bumper, around the grill, adding hood mirrors, upgrading chrome on the backs of mirrors. That's been done here as well in the case of Ruby. So just to touch on some of the various topics or, or features with this optional can bed solution that I've shown you today is it's a fraction of the cost of steel. It'll never rust. It's lighter, which to me also means it's probably going to be more fuel efficient over time. If we're not carrying around another three, four thousand pounds or two tons, perhaps over time, that's going to be reflected in our fuel economy. It's also fully engineered even the steel beds that you see out there yeah even me when i built those over the years we know those were really strong but this engineered solution gives me some peace of mind no rust oh that evil four letter word gone the modular capabilities i can now build a bed to meet your budget right if we're looking for something that's functional and not as fancy i can build just the top surface for you. And they're fast. You don't have to wait months and weeks to get one of these into the queue. I can produce these very quickly for you. I also like the modularity, right? We can add toolboxes later. We can repair these beds much easier if it does get damaged at any point in time. Wow, a lot of nice features in this bed. I'm Greg from RV Haulers. Man, thank you, thank you. If you've subscribed to my channel, thank you folks. I really appreciate the comments that I get. So please, if you have questions about this new bed design, this bed alternative, please pose them down below. I try to get to every question that I can. And I got a secret. Some of you have started to figure this out over the last 13 years. At the end of my videos, I'll put links to videos that are not available to the general public. They don't appear on my channel. They're secrets. So always, for those of you that have made it to the end of my video, you get a bonus. If you want to, check out the videos at the end here. And maybe there's one you haven't seen before. Greg from RV Haulers, thanks for watching.